Good day, awesome students! My name is Teacher Dave. Today, we're going to talk about the first law of thermodynamics. In order for us to formally know the first law of thermodynamics, we first define thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the branch of physics that deals with the relationships between heat and other forms of energy. In particular, it describes how thermal energy is converted to and from other forms of energy and how it affects matter. The fundamental principles of thermodynamics are expressed in four laws. Since we know what thermodynamics is, we are now going to tackle the first law. The first law states that the internal energy of a system has to be equal to the work that is being done on the system plus or minus the heat that flows in or out of the system and any other work that is done on the system. When written in an equation, it will be the change in internal energy equals the work done by the system plus or minus the heat that flows in or out of the system. Where delta U is the change in the internal energy, Q is the heat added to the system, and W is the work done by the system. Since the first law is also known as the law of conservation of energy, the energy that goes in equals the energy that goes out. Since we already know the concept of the first law of thermodynamics, let's solve some problems. Consider this problem as an example. 5,000 joules of heat are added to 2 moles of an ideal monoatomic gas initially at a temperature of 500 Kelvin. While the gas performs 7,500 joules of work, what is the final temperature of the gas? Here is the solution to the given problem. Delta U is equal to W plus or minus Q and substitute the values of heat and work which are 5,000 joules minus 7,500 joules simplifying further we got negative 2,500 joules. In order to find the final temperature, use the formula Q is equal to mc delta t, where Q is equal to negative 2,500 joules. Simplifying further, we got the change in t, which is negative 100 Kelvin. Solving for the final temperature, we've got 500 Kelvin minus 100 Kelvin, which is equal to 400 Kelvin. Our final temperature is equal to 400 Kelvin. 